what a day. Um, pretty good performance by Burnley. They had most of the game, but like every game, Burnley cannot seem to be able to score. Uh, they had a lot of the possession, but just unable to put that goal ball in the back of the net. So it was a good day for Burnley, but a bad result. And it does look like we are going to go back to the championship. Um, if we don't start winning, which I can't see it now, this was our chance against Bournemouth at home to actually win. And we didn't. So we've got other tough tests coming up. Right, OK, today is the 3rd of March 2024. And I find it funny to, because I normally do this the day after the actual match, but I'm actually doing it on the day because the kickoff was at one o'clock from Turf Moor. So Burnley played with a 4-4-2 and Bournemouth went with 4-2-3-1. And we all know the final score was Burnley nil, Bournemouth 2. This is Let's Talk Burnley Football Club number 127. Your referee for today was David Coot. And um, the corresponding game on the 28th of October 2023 at Bournemouth was Bournemouth 2, Burnley 1. And uh, Taylor was the scorer for Burnley. Right, everybody's been shouting for Murek to go come back into the team to start this game but I'm afraid we went with Trafford so the team news is Trafford, Fintinho, O'Shea, Esteve, Taylor, Asenion, Berg, Cullen, Odebert, Fafana and Brun Larson up front instead of uh, possible Rodriguez or even Benson or Amdouni. We didn't get um, that the starting line. So your substitutes were Murick, Cork, Goodmanson, Rodriguez, Benson, Ekdal, Amdouni, Tressor, and De Crox. Didn't take long for Burnley to have a yellow card, did it? First minute, uh, O'Shea kicked the ball away. Yellow card. Seventh minute. <laughs> This is Burnley now on the attack because we did do a lot of attacking. Uh, Alderbert's shot is saved. Good start for Burnley, 13 minutes. But, as I say, for 13 minutes, Colbert scores. Assisted by Cook for Bournemouth. 25th minute, Vintinio shot. Uh, 35th minute, Alderbert's shot is wide. 42nd minute for Farner Chance. Brun Larson effort is blocked. 44th minute, Brun Larson free kick is saved. 45th minute, um, Vintinho misses ahead of the bar. And we have six minutes of extra time on the end of the first half. Good performance, really, for Burnley. Even the commentators were saying that they, they, they think Burnley have stepped it up. Um, but I'm afraid we just can't put the ball in the back of the net. So your half-time stats, 75% possession for Burnley, 13 shots, 4 on target, 4 corners, 3 fouls. Not, not a bad effort at all. And Bournemouth, with a, with a goal that they scored out of the blue, 25% uh, possession, 5 shots, 1 on target, 1 corner, 6 fouls. And second half... Um, 56 minute Trafford great save from Solanke 58th minute Dara O'Shea chance and then uh, 62nd minute VR decision on a goal that Burnley did score they decided it was a no goal because of a foul uh, now um I think Amdouni was a substitute. Um, yes, he was. Uh, replaced, he replaced Larson. And the 68th minute, Vintinho got a yellow card. Um, Benson replaced the 76th minute. Benson replaced Vintinho. 
first minute, Vintinho. Um, we can't begin it, no. Header missed. Um, and then 85th minute, a Steve a header um, missed. And then they scored again. 88th minute goal, Semyonio. Then we come in with the substitutes, Burnley substitutes. Rodriguez replaces O'Shea. Goodmanson replaces Cullen. Uh, the 90 plus five minutes for Farner, header saved, and that was it, full time. So your full time stats, um, Burnley 75%, 20 shots, six on target, seven corners, eight fouls. And um, Bournemouth stats, 25%, 10 shots, three on target, two corners and 13 fouls. Now, I don't know if you know the results uh, last night. Uh, Luton lost 3-2 against Everton at Luton. And Sheffield are playing Arsenal on Monday. Not that it's going to matter at all for Burnley. So the next game we've got, we are away. Uh, two o'clock kickoff next Sunday, 10th of March. And then we're home to Brentford on the Saturday the 30th of... Um, Oh no, Saturday, third, 3 o'clock kickoff, 16th of March. And then we are away at Chelsea uh, on Saturday, the 30th of March, uh, 3, 3 o'clock kickoff. And uh, for that game, Fafana can't play because he's a low knee from Chelsea. Right, league positions, nothing changes. Um, 18, Luton played 18, sorry. 18th position, Luton played 26, won 5, drawn 5, lost 16 points, 20. Burnley, 19th, uh, played 27, won 3, drawn 4, lost 20 points, 13. And Sheffield United, who were playing uh, on Monday against Arsenal, uh, they played 26, they won 3, drawn 4, lost 19 points, 13. So we're all expecting Sheffield United to get beat by Arsenal. So all those three remain the same. Um, I suppose the only good thing is uh, Nottingham Forest got beat uh, by Liverpool uh, 1-0. So that keeps them down there. And if we're looking at points reduction for Nottingham Forest... Um, even if they get 10 points deducted, um, it probably won't save Burnley because if they, Burnley don't start winning, it's not going to get them out of the bottom three because they have to beat what Luton's got, uh, 20 points. So I can't see Burnley getting out the bottom three anytime soon. Well, it's not been good. Um, I'm going to upload this now. On the day that Burnley did play well and tried their best to score, but unfortunately, unlucky, no cigar. Burnley couldn't score, even if they played another hour, they wouldn't have scored. So that's it for now. Um, I'll see you next Sunday, hopefully, against uh, when we play West Ham. Uh, two o'clock kickoff on Sunday. I'll probably do the same again. Uh, I can't see us beating West Ham to tell you the truth, but who knows? Well, that's it for now. At the Claris, very disappointed once again. Okay, bye bye for now. Bye bye.